Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. Intro music, intro music, intro music, doo doo doo. Hello. So I've seen a few videos like this on other people's channels where they show off their lipstick collections, and I find them entertaining and amusing because I love lipstick. And I've already shot this video technically, but the footage is, the footage is corrupted, so I have to refilm it. Um, so here it goes. And I'm thinking what I'm gonna do instead of showing you my entire collection because it's like 34 lip products, I'm gonna show you my top 10 and then some honorable mentions and half, well, one cut of this is gonna be me wearing a different outfit because I'm gonna shoot it on a different day because I left the lipstick at work and I don't wanna drive all the way across town to get it. Uh, but without further ado, here are some lipsticks from my lipstick collection. So here I have lined up, on the top line is all of my liquid lipsticks, the left side of the bottom line is my lip glosses, and then the right side is classic bullet lipsticks. So let's get to swatching. To start off my top 10, I'm going to start with my favorite lip glosses, and then move on to bullet lipsticks, and then finish off with my favorite lip liquid lipsticks before the honorable mentions. My first lip gloss that I will be swatching is by Tarte. It is the Tartist Glossy Lip Paint in WCW. And I got this in the, what I like to call the danger zone of Ulta, which is like the two stands by the cash register of like travel size and tester size things. Cause I was just feeling like, oh, I want to try some new lip products today. And I love the consistency of the Tarte lip glosses because they're very creamy and they kind of like some lip glosses tend to be more sticky from my experience and this is my much more of it just feels like a lip gloss it feels very soft and creamy and kind of just feels like a glorified lip balm but I love this not only for the color but the texture as well So here is WCW swatched on my lips. Uh, again, I love the texture, but specifically for this one, I love the color. Um, it's a lovely berry color, and I love it for spring and summer because it's very vibrant, and it just makes me really happy. And I, you'll notice, I love pink and red lip products, um, so this just really fits into my collection well. The next lip gloss I will be swatching is also by Tarte. And it is another glossy lip paint in color Goals. And I got this one after I fell in love with the texture of WCW. And there are, I think, three or four more colors of the lip gloss line from Tarte that I want to get. But this was the lightest color. And I'm trying to branch out into lighter colors of lipstick because I don't really wear a lot of bright colors or light colors. I wear a lot of bright colors. Uh, and this seemed like a good place to start. Here is Goals swatched on my lips. Um, again, I love the color of this. I like to describe it as a peachy, corally pink color. Um, and it's very nice for just like every day, like daytime wear, if I'm feeling like, oh, I want to wear a lip gloss and I don't want to think about the color because it just kind of goes with every outfit and every makeup look that I've got going. Um, so now let's uh, swatch some bullet lipsticks. The first bullet lipstick I will be swatching today is by Revlon. It is the Super Lustrous Lipstick in color 460 Blushing Mauve. I found this color in high school and it is my all-time favorite lipstick. I like to describe it as my lips but better. Uh, I love the texture and wear of the whole super lustrous line. Um, no one expects a bullet lipstick to last all day, but these, they last fairly well, and for a drugstore lipstick, I'm definitely not mad at it. So here is Blushing Mauve Swatched. Again, I love this color and the wearability. It's very easy, and it just matches with, like, every natural makeup look that I ever go for. And this is, like, if I in, like putting on my makeup and I am like I pick an eyeshadow look and I'm like you know don't quite know what lipstick is gonna go with this I usually choose this one because it just goes with everything. The second bullet lipstick I'll be swatching today is again by Revlon and it is color 510 Berry Rich. I also found this color in high school. Um, I, was, I found it in the makeup bin that our drama department had 
and I didn't like this isn't that too but I just found the color and then went and bought it for myself but I love this color because it's a very like easy going pink and I, I like to reach for it in place of like a, a go-to red it's my go-to dark pink here is very rich swatched uh, again I love the color and the texture of this lipstick and it's just my go-to uh, pink lipstick. The last lipstick I will be swatching on my lips from Revlon is the Super Lustrous in color 535 Rum Raisin. This is the brownest lipstick that I own and I got this because I was trying to branch out in, from red and pink and get a new color. And so it's still pretty red but it's got some more brown undertones which is exciting. Here is Rum Raisin Swatched. Um, again, I love the brown color. Uh, I like this a lot for fall, and I like to also mix this. Sometimes I'll put Rum Raisin on one lip and Very Rich on the other, or I also have another uh, Revlon lipstick called Black Cherry, and I'll mix Rum Raisin with that um, to make different colors for fall, because this tends to ma match the more muted color palette of my fall wardrobe. The last bullet lipstick I will be swatching on my lips is by Maybelline, and I don't know the n name of the line, but it is color 645 Red Revival, and I like this red because it has, I don't know why, but like, Red Revival is the perfect name for this lipstick because I like to think of it as a vintage red, harkening back to the 40s and 50s, and the reds that like old Hollywood used to wear, and then pinups. It just like it's not a vibrant red, it's not a vampy red, but it's just like red, and it's perfect. Uh, I feel very passionately about the color of this lipstick. Here is Red Revival swatched on my lips. And again, I love this color, and the wearability of the Maybelline lipsticks is also fairly good for a bullet lipstick. I will say that the Revlon Super Lustrous it has a creamier texture, and the Maybelline tends to be more waxy, in my opinion, but not waxy in an uncomfortable way. It's just not as creamy as the Revlon, but it doesn't make me mad. It's just a different feeling. So. Uh, with that, we're going to move to my favorite swatches of liquid lipsticks. I realize now that we're halfway through the video and I haven't been consistent with my zooming in and zooming out, so the rest of the video is going to be zoomed in. Forgive me for not being consistent with my camera angles. So, change of scenery. I'm now filming in the fitting room at work because I forgot uh, this first lipstick when I was originally filming, so here we go. The first liquid lipstick that I will be swatching today is the first li liquid lipstick that I ever purchased, which is from the NYX Lip Lingerie line, and it is color Exotic. It's a lovely pinky nude, and I got it on a whim because I wanted to try liquid lips, and I heard this was a good line, and it is. I love the wearability and the texture and the color of this lipstick, and it's extremely affordable. Here is Exotic swatched on my lips. Again, I love the color and the texture of the Lip Lingerie line. And for my first soiree into liquid lipsticks, uh, I was very satisfied with this, which is why I chose to get more. The next liquid lipstick I will be swatching is by Smashbox, and it is the Always On Liquid Lipstick in color Bouse. And it is their collaboration with Lily Singh, who is a lovely YouTuber. If you haven't heard of her, check her out. You've probably heard of her because she's got like 12 million subscribers. Uh, but I love, I first saw this color on Grace Helbig's channel, another big YouTuber, but I really admire Grace, and she was like, yeah, this is a color that I've seen work on a lot of different skin tones, and I've also seen that because I've seen a lot of other YouTubers wear this, uh, and the, it's a comfortable lips, lipstick to wear, and I love the red color, so we're going to swatch it. So here is Bouse Swatched, and I love the red color. It's kind of similar to Red Revival, but not quite. It's bordering more towards a vibrant red, or a violent red as I like to call it, um, but it does last 
for a very long time. And it's pretty pricey. It's $24 for a tube of lipstick and there's not that much product in the component, but it like it lasts really long and it's my first high-end liquid lipstick that I've bought and I'm interested to buy more, just hopefully ones that cost a little less. Forgive me if for some of the future cuts I have a weird ring around my lips or a tint on my lips because I'm very quickly putting on these lipsticks and then wiping them off with a makeup wipe and my lips are going through it because makeup wipes are not supposed to go on your lips. But anyway, the next liquid lip I'm going to swatch is the NYX Liquid Suede in color Cherry Skies and I love the Liquid Suede line. Um, they do take a hot second to dry down. I've noticed they take about a minute or two, uh, but once they dry down, they're very comfortable to wear and they come in a lot of very vibrant colors. But this I like because it's my vampy red uh, go-to. So here is Cherry Skies swatched. Again, I love the dark vampy color because sometimes you just need a really dark red that looks like you've ate, eaten a fresh person. Um, and the liquid suede line is extremely comfortable to wear. Um, and it's, it looks a little glossy right now because it hasn't fully dried down yet, but it does dry down to a pretty true matte. The last liquid lip I will be swatching for my top 10 is again from the liquid suede line and it is in color vintage. And I like to describe this as a, like a kind of a mauvey plum color. Um, I really like it for fall. So here is vintage swatch on my lips. Um, again, a liquid suede line, good texture, good wearability, and I love the this dark plummy color for fall. And now we're going to move on to my honorable mentions. So the reason that I wanted to include my honorable mentions is because these are three lipsticks that I have purchased uh, because I like the color, but they're not necessarily colors that I quite know how to wear yet because they're just out of my realm of understanding because I've been wearing red and pink lipsticks for too many years and so trying to figure out how to pair makeup and outfits with these new lipsticks is kind of hard for me but I wanted to include them one because they're they're good lipsticks and two to hold myself accountable and try wearing new things and the first one is going to be Ruffle Trim by NYX, which is the lip lingerie line. Um, I just like, uh, once I tried Exotic, I really wanted to get more of this line. I still want to get more of this line. And this is the first one that I wanted to try. And it's kind of a nudie orange color. So here's Ruffle Trim Swatched. Uh, again, I love the texture of the lip lingerie line, and this nudie orange color is something new to me, but I have been wearing it here and there uh, to work during the day because I feel like it's more of a daytime color, um, and I will continue to try to figure out how to wear it and incorporate it into my collection. My next honorable mention is again from NYX, and it is the Love Out Loud line, and it is in color Brilliant, and I don't know if these are the same formula as the uh, liquid suede, but they feel like it to me. Um, but I saw this color and I wanted to try it, and I think it's kind of a mauvey gray color. Here is Brilliant swatched on my lips. Um, again, it's just a new color to me that I haven't figured out how to wear, but I love the texture and the wearability of this lipstick, so hopefully soon I'll figure out how I can wear it. My last honorable mention is again Liquid Suede Line, and it is in color Alien. This is a black lipstick, and I'm not necessarily the kind of person right now who can get away with wearing black, li black lipstick in public, but I want to be, because I feel like I'm going through my angsty teen phase in my 20s, where like all I want to do is be an emo kid, but I'm you know, I have to be a functioning adult at the same time, which I mean, sometimes the two can coincide, and they usually can in the theater. And no one would judge me for wearing black lipstick, black lipstick at work, but like, still, 
I want to become the kind of person that has the confidence to rock some black lipstick, which is why I got it, because it will encourage me to wear it. I have swatched Alien on my lips. Again, I just want to be the person that can get away with wearing black lipstick. I, it's all I want in the world, amongst other things like world peace and, you know, the cure to cancer and that stuff. But like, me wearing black lipstick in real life is all I want. So, tune in to the future and hopefully I'll wear it eventually. Thank you for letting me show you my lipstick collection today. I hope you found this interesting or informative and maybe inspiring to find some new lip colors. Um, please like this video to let me know you enjoyed your time here. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all on the flip flop.